So we'll end our discussion of flags with a somewhat more complicated but more realistic example where we might want to use flags. So we have two lists here. We have a list of cartoon characters and then we have a list of the uh, companies that those characters are associated with. And so our task is to step through this list and determine which of the characters' companies match up with whatever company the user types in. So if the person types in Disney, we want to say Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Minnie Mouse. If they type in Warner Brothers, we want to say Daffy Duck. So essentially, we'll step through the list of companies, incrementing the index number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and check each one of the companies. And if we get a match, we will print the name of the character that has the same corresponding index number. Now the challenge here is that we want something meaningful to happen if we get all the way through the list and we never get any matches with the company. The way we're going to handle this is by creating a flag called no characters. So if we are checking and no characters have matched, this will have a value of true. If we are performing the check and at least one of the characters matches, then this will change from true to false. So the way that we're going to accomplish this is to count through the range of numbers. This is a little bit complicated because usually when we see a range, we have a starting and an ending number, but here we don't have a starting number, we have only the ending number. The ending number is the length of the character company list. The character company list has one, two, three, four, five, six items on it. So the length of character company is six. If we uh, want to count from zero to five, we will put in a range ending that is one more than what we want to count to. Since six is one more than five, this range statement will count zero, one, two, three, four, and five, which is what we want. As it counts through zero, one, two, three, four, five, it'll, uh, it, it'll increment company number. First it'll be zero, then it'll be one, and so forth. So with each part of the loop, we will do this indented code block here that starts with if. It'll check if the character in this list here that has an index number corresponding to whatever um, of the index numbers we are on at the moment. So let's say we're on the second one. It'll check whether the second company is equal to what the person typed in or not. If the person typed in Disney and the second company is Disney, then this will evaluate as true. So it will then do the indented code block that comes after the if and we want it to do two things. If there is a match, then the first thing that we want to do is we want to change our flag from true to false because no characters in that company is no longer true. There is a character with that company. So we want no characters to be ch changed from true into false. And then we want to print um, some information to the user saying that whatever character corresponds with index number two, for example, Donald Duck, then we want to say works at, and then we want to say the company, the second company, which is Disney. So it'll say Donald Duck works at Disney. So we will go ahead and step through each item on the list one at a time. And each time there's a match, it'll change no characters to false. And it'll print the name of the, uh, of the uh, company and the character. And it doesn't matter if it sets no characters to false several times. As long as it happens even once, it'll get changed from true into false. If it steps through all of the companies and there is never a match, then no characters flag will never get changed from true into false. And so after the uh, loop is finished and this indented code block at the if level here, is done, then we'll drop back out to the non-indented code block and do it. And that is an if statement that's checking if there are, if the value of no characters is true or false. So if we got all the way through the check and 
none of the characters matched, then no characters would remain true as it did in the beginning. And so it will, it'll carry out the indented code block here and say, no characters work for your company. Let's go ahead and try running this. So first let's type in, Anna Barbera. And it says, Fred Flintstone works at Hanna-Barbera, Elmo Jetson works at Hanna-Barbera, and that is what it should do. Let's try it again. Disney, Mickey Mouse works at Disney, Donald Duck works at Disney, Minnie Mouse works at Disney. Okay, that's all true. Let's try one more uh, time. Okay, DreamWorks. We got all the way through all the list and DreamWorks did not match with any of the characters' companies. So no characters remain true. And since no characters was true, it printed no characters work for your company.